it's Amanda Green here and I just wanted to show you a couple of the problem zones um, from my problem areas video um, which the hubby and I managed to attack on the weekend. The first is a linen cupboard and then followed by the um, medicines cupboard which we're now making medicine slash excess computer stuff to free up some room in the kids toy cupboard. So um, I'll just quickly show you some before videos and then I will show you the zones that we managed to tidy up and organize. This area is my linen cupboard. It's looking very uh, shabby. Things are too big for boxes, old boxes, old labels. Um, so yeah, our first aid section slash duvet cupboard, it's, uh, not space that's used well at all. And these cupboards up here as well have just like random pillows, um, all sorts of things in them and they're not well organised but it's excellent space. This office section slash kids toy area cupboard. So, okay, here's the results of my purging of the linen cupboard, plus some creative labelling and repurposing of uh, suitable storage containers that I already had. And um, here's the end result. Um, I'm standing out here and looking at the cupboards uh, from a distance because um, it's quite a tight squeeze in there and I'm going to have to give you a pan up, pan down shot of the cupboard really quickly before I discuss any of the contents. Because um, yeah, I open the door and I'm squished right up against that wall. So yeah, this is one of the areas we addressed on the weekend. One of the problem zones that I showed you in my last video. Um, and as you can see, just a quick glance over. Things have been straightened up, organised, tidied. And uh, looking a whole lot better. I've done a bit of purging too, which also helps the situation. And some pillows. Okay, so first things first is I um, tried to go through the containers. Obviously, I didn't want to be purchasing anything new. Um, but I sort of made all the labels consistent, which obviously makes them look really pretty so they have the, the chalkboard labels on now these chalkboard labels um, my mum got them for me and I'm not really happy with the pen that came with them it's really thick and you can't write too much on there so but I still love the whole look so with my label maker I labeled them and um, yeah stuck that onto the chalkboard as well so they're consistent labels all the shelves, and I think that makes a big difference as well. Just having, you know, the same labeling. Um, everything's folded nice and neatly. Got the um, bath mats here. Ours down the bottom. Kids up the top. Good sheets. So we've got blue ones on at the moment, and uh, the white duvet cover with the pillowcases there. These are the kids' sheets. Now they're just folded and popped in the pillows. Um, quite haphazardly really and um, but it yeah, look a lot better for stuffed in the pillows a little bit of a, a hippo because it's you know the humidity here is quite horrendous uh, cot and bassinet sheets there in the tub oh, we've got the uh, extra mattress protectors and some of the dry night pads to prevent little people having accidents microfiber cloths beach towels and kids towels um, so I've got two sets of beach shells, one we've got in our swimming bag for this afternoon and two sets of bar towels for the kids as well. So they're there. Some extra decorative pillows, duna covers, single and um, again decorative cushion covers. But yeah, I'm happy with the way that it turned out. Looks a whole lot better, a lot more uniform, more consistent than... Uh, what it did before and sorry I can't give you a whole shot at a glance like I said my back is right up against the wall and um, yeah you can barely see half the cupboard on a shelf at a time 
again I purged, got rid of some stuff, made the labels on the bins a little bit more consistent and just spaced things out and a tidy up. We got sick towels up here, um, the kids pool aids or swim aids and the uh, vacuum seal over here to the right. So that's the top of the linen cupboard directly above the linens. Chance to work on was the first aid supplies and I again I didn't purchase anything here I had some green stuff left over from when I did the kids uh, bathroom their bathrooms green ours is blue and I made the labels a bit more uniform and sort of categorized things as best I could so sorry this one here is bandages and dressings and you know peroxide stuff that you need to be able to clean out the wound and do those dressings some tools there here we've got just prescription medications and barrier creams. Over here is just a tub, the pain relief tub. And I've got the kids panel, our panel, any sort of Voltaren, DPD pain relief -y creams are in there. They really slide inside out fairly easily. So again, tried to compartmentalize it. Hot cold packs, cold and flu medications, and ready to go first aid kits. Okay, so that's the top two shelves as medicines. And down here is the computer. Paperwork and bits and bobs that was cluttering up the kids' toy cupboard. All nicely sorted and organised. I've got headphones and joystick to get the back. Blank discs at the front. Games and stuff that my husband plays and the bits for his charger, etc. for the PlayStation. So yeah, utilising a bit of a basket there to get cameras and other cords and stuff all together. But yeah, so that cupboard has now been all So here is the kids' toy cupboard. You can see the, the uh, stationary and computer stuff's removed from there. It still needs some work, but um, it's certainly much better organised. And here is all of my purged linens, etc. Everything uh, bagged up, ready to go to the thrift store. So super excited that this project's done. Keep an eye out for the next one. Thanks for watching.